years. China flew a spy craft over the U.S. The president didn't really do anything to China. And according to the FBI director, China may have created something that has killed more than 1.1 million people in this country. And President Biden is not punishing them. So you're, you're giving me two, two things here, so let's take them in parts. Um, as we talk about the Chinese surveillance, the China surveillance balloon, the president did take that down, and he did it uh, in a way that as it was on its path, we collected information from it, we protected our national security uh, information on the ground, and we did it in a way that was smart, effective, uh, and also protected the American people. That's what the president's always going to put forth, is the, is the safety of the American people. So that's what the president did with that particular uh, issue. Look, as it relates to, uh, you're talking about the COVID origins, uh, we've been very clear. We've been very clear that we need the data uh, and uh, we need to figure out how to get to the bottom of, uh, of the COVID origins. And that's something that the president has said uh, since the beginning of this administration. But so that none of that has changed. But with his campaign, it was all about shutting down the virus and how hard it is for families with an empty chair at the kitchen table because of COVID. If we now know, according to the FBI director, who is most likely responsible for all those empty chairs at all those kitchen tables, why not do more to try to hold them so, accountable? So I'm gonna flip that on its head for a second. It was because of this president that took action. By the way, the last administration did not, they did not have a comprehensive plan but to actually, no, 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 to COVID, no, but where did COVID no, but, come but from? If we know Peter, you can't tell, first of all, you can't tell me how to answer the question. I'm going to answer to it for you, right? So just give me a second. So because he took those actions, he actually helped to save lives. Because he, he took action to make sure that people got shots in arms and put a comprehensive plan in front of the American people and put in the work, uh, we actually were able to get to a place where COVID is not gone, but we now are in a place where we're in a different place in the pandemic, and that's because of the president. And that's because of his leadership. So let's not let's like be very real about the, what the president has done over the last two years to take on COVID, to make sure that the economy is growing again, uh, to make sure that we're really working for the American people. So that's number one. I want to be very very clear on that. Now to your question about COVID origins, as we've known, as we know, we have seen many. Uh, uh, many different uh, uh, conclusions, right, from, uh, from, from the intelligence community. Uh, some of them have made some conclusion on one side. Some of them have made conclusions on the other side. Some of them say they don't have enough information. So I want to be also very careful uh, there as well. And it was because of this president, very early on, the first several months of his administration, he went to the intelligence community and said, we need to figure out how to get to the bottom of this. We need to figure out uh, how this all occurred because who knows? We have to try and prevent any future pandemic. So that is the work that this president did. And it included clearly the uh, Department of Energy that has national labs. And so now they're continuing to double down and try to get to the bottom of this. Our relationship with China has not changed. It is, it is very different, very clear, very different than how we've seen it in the last administration. All right.